Hi, it's Laura Lee, and I wanted to show you how you could create something like a PDF worksheet in PowerPoint if you want. I'm using PowerPoint um, Microsoft Office 2013, so this is the, um, like, at the time I'm doing this video, is the, the most recent version, but most versions of PowerPoint will have, I know that the, it has changed quite a bit, but what I'm going to show you today is pretty um, pretty basic, and I, as I recall, it's kind of gone back to probably even 2003. So I'm just using a really basic um, design layout. I have a whole bunch of other layouts, and if you wanted to have something in the background, you could probably choose one of the ones that's in yours to kind of just create a you know a nice background. Um, but I'm going to just go with a completely plain one for right now, and then I'm going to delete the um, the defaults that are on this page so that it's literally just a blank clean slate and then um, what I want to do in this case is create some sort of like a flowchart and I'm going to do it with some really basic shapes initially and then I'm going to show you another way to do it with the tools that are built right into to PowerPoint so what I've done first is just create a box um, because it's going to be a worksheet I want to add I want to give people space to actually write into the field so I'll make this one blue. I want to make the outline of the box a little bit heavier, so like I could do dashes or something, but I think I'm going to just choose a heavy weight um, so that it sort of pops out on the page a little bit more. And then um, I'm going to do that again with another set of shapes. And let's see if I can get that to line up. Oh yeah, there we go. It's got my little guide there. I think that's actually a new feature in um, 2013. I don't remember that cool guideline, you know, showing up to help me with my line lining up of stuff. So you may not have that in the version you have. Um, going back to insert again, shapes, and um, I'm gonna do an arrow from this one to this one to kind of show that piece or show that part of the process and go back to waiting again because I kind of like that bolder line and then I want to insert some text at the top I don't have any preference, whoops um, I don't have anything prepared for you but I'm gonna just put this at the top and it would probably be better if it was lined up well um, I'll grab I'll just show you what some of the other font styles could look like. Oh, why do I keep grabbing that? Crazy. Um, okay. Oh, my. Well, at least you get to see how you can move things around. <laughs> it's not that hard. Um, okay, so let's put that there. Put that over there. And then, um, and then you could just go along with the process. So, if, so you know, depending on what you want to put onto this sheet, you could, um, you know, just continue adding things and making that, that process work. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that you could create a completely new slide. We could take everything off again and to start with a blank sheet. And you could use the smart art that's in, um, that comes inside of PowerPoint and Excel and all of the other ones. Uh, smart art actually has processes built into it so if by chance you were taking you know walking people from one decision to another etc you might choose something like um, this as an example I mean you would need to look kind of look through and see what's there but um, so this could be like idea one and idea two I'm really creative today. <laughs> um, big idea. <sighs> and it has a tendency to refit the size and shape and things. So let's just change this, make this the full size of the page. And I think you get an idea of what it might look like. Now let's say I didn't want this one. I can actually just go in and change. It's kind of cool. Um, see how that changed and I can also change the color style so I can make some things that look like that 
and I can change it with the colors as well. So you could have something that looks like that fairly quickly without having to do any um, really, really big design overhaul kind of thing. Um, here's another and a funnel process. So anyway, I'm not sure if this helps you or not, but um, just a couple of ways that you can use PowerPoint. And then ultimately when you're finished, you can just go, you would want to make sure that you put something on here, you know, make sure that you sign it off as, put some text in somewhere to say that it's your work. Um, and it may just be simple text at the bottom. You don't have to use the text art, you can just literally type, but you could put something at the bottom. And then um, go to save as, um, I think this should work, but I want to just make sure that I can show you how to save it as, oh, this is going to take me online, sorry about that. Um, I want to make sure that you can, that we can save it as a PDF from this method versus going to export. Uh oh, <laughs> I've frozen it. Well, there you go. I um, paused it while, while everything was frozen. It's finally come back up. So you can actually save as, and then instead of having the default PowerPoint presentation, you can click save as PDF. And, um, and then just save it whatever your title is, and it should just print off as a nice PDF, and you're good to go. Um, I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions, please let me know, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye for now.